Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis on them, give them my own rating for my own rating system, and help you decide whether they are worth purchasing or not. I buy all the products with my own money and I'm not sponsored by anyone. Today I have a question for you. How many of you are on diet plans or fitness plans where you have to drink tons of water and stay hydrated? I know I'm on one of them. And what I have found, it is really hard to drink as much water as they want you to on these diets and fitness plans and stay hydrated. After all, the US National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine determined that an adequate amount of daily intake for water is 3.7 liters a day. That's about 125 ounces. That's a lot of water. That is 10 12 ounce glasses of water a day. And that's for men and women is just slightly less than that. It's a lot more than the old way of thinking of eight eight ounce glasses of water a day for 64 ounces. In fact, it's basically about twice that much. So how do you get that water down and how do you not get sick of drinking water and how do you stay hydrated at the same time and make sure it doesn't just get flushed right out of your system? Well, that's where electrolytes come in. And what are electrolytes exactly? Well, according to an internet article I read on healthline.com, electrolytes are minerals that carry an electrical charge. They're vital for health and survival and they spark cell function throughout the body. They also help hydration and help the body produce energy. Finally, they are responsible for stimulating muscle contractions, including those that keep your heart beating. The biggest advantage for, of electrolytes for me personally is after a workout, if I drink water with electrolytes in it, I feel pretty good and hydrated. Now there are a few ways you can get electrolytes. You can get it through food like spinach and broccoli and kale and avocados. You can get it in a powder form or you can get it in those ready pre-made drinks. I try to stay away from those ready-made electrolyte drinks like Gatorade because a 28 ounce bottle of Gatorade can have up to 52.5 grams of sugar in it. That is a lot of sugar. And Body Armor has about the same amount of sugar in it per 12 ounces, 21 grams. So in other words, just because a ready pre-made electrolyte drink says, hey, we have electrolytes does not necessarily mean it's good for you. Now to be fair to Gatorade, they do offer something called for the G0, which has no sugar in it, but it does have sucralose in it and that's an artificial sweetener. Now, I'm no doctor, nutritionist, or scientist, but just putting those artificial sweeteners in your body, I don't think is very good for you. Also, Body Armor has an alternative to their high sugar drinks. They have something called Body Armor Light, which has two grams of sugar in it, and it is flavored by stevia, which is a natural leaf extract. So that's a lot better, at least. That still doesn't convince me to want to drink Body Armor, though. Well, I am left with the powder form, and there are a few different powder forms you can choose from. One that I started with and I really liked a lot was by Dr. Berg. The ingredients were really easy to read, and I understood what each ingredient was. The only problem with the Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder was after a while, it would just get hardened inside the canister. So at about halfway through, I would have to get a knife out to scrape the powder into little particles then smash it up and then put it in the scoop and then mix it with the water. As you got lower and lower in the canister, it got harder and harder to do that. So it became a little frustrating. On top of that, Dr. Bird's electrolyte powder only has two flavors, raspberry lemon and orange. But with me and my fickle taste buds, I needed new flavors and they just didn't have any more. So I got a little tired of it. That's when I started doing some searching and I found Ultima Replenisher at Whole Foods. I used to run in there and grab a few of their little sticks of powder when I went on long hikes and things like that, and I loved them. Then I graduated to the 30 serving canisters and then the 90 serving canisters after that. I really liked them a lot because the powder inside never got clumpy. Also, if I ran out of them, I didn't have to order anything online from a website. I could just go down to Whole Foods and pick up a new canister. They come in eight different flavors and I've tried every one of them except cherry pomegranate and watermelon. Here was a deal. I was a little bummed that the Ultima Replenisher wasn't quite as clean as the Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder, but I realized I did have to make a few compromises if I wanted the perfect electrolyte powder. And Ultima Replenisher is actually pretty close in ingredients to Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder. 
To start, it's got zero carbs, zero sugar, and zero calories. There are no GMOs in it. It is gluten-free, it is plant-based, it is keto-friendly, vegan, and also paleo-friendly. Not only that, but it is sweetened by stevia, which is a natural plant extract, so no artificial sweeteners. It also has six electrolytes and trace minerals. So with all those pluses, it was kind of hard not to start using Ultima Replenisher. And like I said, the ingredients aren't too far off from each other. Here's what I found. Per serving, Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder contained 4% more of the daily value of magnesium. Ultima had 3% more chloride and 1% more sodium. Dr. Berg's had 15% more potassium. Also, Dr. Berg's contained 100 milligrams trace mineral complex, and I didn't see any specific reference to trace minerals on Ultima's nutrition label, although I know they have some because it says they do on their website. The last item I noticed was that Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder contained malic acid and Ultima had tartaric acid. And from what I understand, tartaric acid is an acid regulator in food systems, meaning it enhances fruit flavors and stabilizes batter systems in color. It is odorless and has an acidic taste. And the way I like to buy these Ultima replenishers is I like to buy like three different flavors. Now what I do is once in the morning I'll use the uh, blue raspberry, then I'll switch to the lemonade in the afternoon. I like to just kind of mix it up. I used to get the 90 serving canisters, but it was just too much and I would actually get tired of the flavor after a while. I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys what I do with my electrolyte powders and how I mix them because I don't just mix them with water. I kind of add a little something to them to make them a little bit spicier. So let's go to my kitchen and I'll show you what I do. I basically get a 20 ounce bottle. You can put the water in. I bought some of this Santa Cruz organic lemon juice. It's just pure lemons squeezed in here. So you can do this or get a lemon. And of course the Ultima Replenisher. One of the most important things I do is I chill water the night before so I have cold water in a bottle like this. This is a Brita filter. It's great. You can use any other kind of water filter or jug, whatever you want to use. I just put a little bit of water in here. Then I take a little bit of the lemon juice. I put a dab in here like this. It just adds a nice citrusy flavor to it and kind of sparks the Ultima Replenisher just a little bit. And I take one scoop, I'll use grape today. Put that in here. I've only filled the bottle till about here, so now I've got the lemon juice and the powder in there. Now I take more water, a little bit like that, screw the top on, shake it up really good. The powder mixes pretty well. I'd say it's about a seven out of 10 on the mix. It's not like the athletic greens, which just totally dissolves really quickly. Do that. Done. It's cold too, and I love the taste of cold electrolyte juice and the cold lemon juice all together. It's great. So you can kind of play with the ratio a little bit, but one scoop of the Ultima Replenisher a little bit of the lemon juice, and then of course, cold water into a 20 ounce canister. I drink this after a workout. Sometimes I say to drink it before a workout. I just don't do that. I do it afterwards. Hope it helped you out. Here's a funny thing about electrolytes and electrolyte powders and drinks and how much you really need in your system. I decided to look that up and see, is this really necessary for us to survive or do we get it naturally in foods? I found an Outside Magazine 2018 web article that talked about this very thing. According to the article, Stavros Kavouras, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Stavros, who is a director of the Hydration Science Lab at the University of Arkansas, says this. For the most part, if you have a normal diet, particularly a diet in the US, you're probably getting all the electrolytes you need on a daily basis. He goes on to say, unless you exercise for more than three hours, you don't need to add electrolytes. It's pretty interesting stuff because we're always being kind of force fed this whole thing like, you need electrolytes, you need electrolytes, you need electrolytes. However, he does add that electrolytes, particularly sodium, can aid performance. And this was some interesting research. When researchers had one group of athletes consume salt capsules 
in addition to sports drinks during a half Ironman and had a control group consume only sports drinks, the group supplementing with sodium completed the race an average of 26 minutes faster, according to a study in the Scandinavian Journal of Medicine and Science in Sports. The group drinking just the sports drinks replaced around 20% of the sodium they lost during the race, while the group adding salt tabs replaced around 71% of the sodium they lost through sweat. So I thought, are we all just fooling ourselves with this electrolyte powder? Do we only need it if we're exercising for over three hours? I don't know. Maybe the truth lies somewhere in between. All I know is this. The electrolyte powder tastes good. I don't think having two servings a day is bad for you. Maybe it's psychological. Maybe it's the fact that water gets a little bit boring to drink all day long and I just need a little flavor. But for whatever that reason is, I think you guys have to decide on your own. Is it worth it? Make sure if whatever you go with electrolytes, powders, or drinks, just get low sugar, something that's got really good ingredients in it. Because it sounds like to me, you can pretty much get all the electrolytes you need every day through healthy foods. Well, as we ponder that question, let's go into the pros and cons of Ultima Replenisher. First, the pros. Tastes great, and there are lots of flavors to choose from. The powder stays fresh and doesn't dry up. Much better for you than drinking those pre-made electrolyte drinks. Made from good ingredients. Makes me feel hydrated after a tough workout. It's a good alternative to flavor my water when I get bored of the bland taste of water. Now the cons. I wish they clearly explained what the six trace minerals were in the powder. I couldn't identify them on the label. Do we really need to consume the amount of Ultima that the website suggests? Ultima suggests, per this chart, that you consume up to four servings a day. Although they do say that different body types have different hydration needs. Now let's look at my own rating system which consists of price, performance, and staying power. It's on a scale from one to 10 with 10 being best. First, the price. What is the price of this product? Is it worth the money? Since I've only used one other electrolyte powder, Dr. Berg's, I can only compare it to his. Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder costs $34.51 for 45 servings through Amazon, and I get free shipping since I'm a Prime member. 34.51 divided by 45 servings equals about 77 cents a serving. Ultima 30 serving size canister costs $20.99 on Amazon with free shipping. 20.99 divided by 30 servings equals about 70 cents a serving. For me, 70 cents per drink is a pretty respectable price. For price, I'm gonna give it an eight. Next is performance. What did I think of the performance of this product? Well, I'm not sure if the performance is psychological or if it's real. So I'm gonna base the performance on just how I felt. Pretty much it makes me feel good and hydrated during the day. And that's my personal view. Maybe it does absolutely nothing, I don't know. But like I said before, it helps me get to my water intake level every day that I need to hit. So I know this is tricky to judge, but for me, I'm gonna give it an eight for performance. Finally, there's staying power. Will I use this every day or is this a one and done? Well, I think you all know that I use it twice a day, so staying power is pretty strong for this one. So for staying power, as long as they keep coming out with different flavors to keep my taste buds excited, I'm gonna give it a nine. So here's the final tally. Price, eight. Performance, eight. Staying power, nine. That comes to a final average score of 8.3. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, can you do me a favor, hit that like button. At the same time, if you wanna subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my new videos when they come out. They come out every Tuesday, by the way. And hit me up on Instagram at KurtFitFi, where I post two to three times a week on other things, fitness. I'll see you in the next one.